heart still flutters when I speak your name. I can't believe that you are mine, that I get the gift of knowing you and walking with you and loving you, that the boy I had such a crush on is now my forever. I can't thank the Lord enough for entrusting me with your heart. I praise Him for He has been good and faithful and kind in giving me you. I am so richly blessed because of you. Aaron, the Lord has truly blessed me with the perfect partner for the rest of my life. Celebrating all of the great moments in life and mourning the painful is going to carry so much more depth now that we get to do it as our own family. Just as so many things in God's creation are complementary of each other, I know that He has created us to be complementary to each other. Where I fall short of God's glory in so many different ways, your heart shines so bright. I tell you all the time, I love you so much it hurts. <laughs> my heart is so full of admiration and crazy wild love for you that most of the time it feels like it might actually burst. Perfect. I love the way that you tilt your head and look at me out of the top of your eyes when I say something stupid. I love the way your cheeks fall up when you smile. I love how distraught you get when I tickle you and you say, okay, you don't want to be tickled right now, <laughs> as if there's ever a good time for that. You look so <laughs> my love, I choose you today and every day until my very last breath. I choose you when it's easy and when it's hard, and I will continue to choose you over and over again, every moment of every day. I love the way you respect me and encourage me in what I desire in life. It's so difficult for me to put into words how much respect I have for you and for how passionately I love you. But I do know that this deep love gives me a better understanding of God's love for us, a deeper understanding than I've ever had in my life. You are my one, my soul's perfect match, my very best friend, my forever crush, my reminder of God's presence, my true love. You show me a love like I've never known before a love more rich and beautiful than anything I could have imagined. As we start our family together, these are the things that I vow to you to try to uphold every single day. I won't always be perfect or even a little bit good at these, but I promise to work every day to be the best man I can be for you. I vow to clothe myself with compassion, kindness, humility, and gentleness so that I can be your greatest partner on this journey ahead. I vow to selflessly pursue you and show you that my love for you is deeper than just how beautiful you are. I vow to seek His kingdom first so that my love is rooted in truth. I vow to support and love you in whatever you desire in this life and to push you to find what the Lord has in store for you. I vow to walk beside you and be faithful to you for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in little. I vow to be quick to listen, slow to speak, compassionate and caring, and always have to back first. I vow to worship with you always, no matter the circumstance, because our God is good and worthy, and there will always be reason to sing. I vow to only tease you a little bit and only take with you when you're in the mood. I vow to laugh with you often, because life is too short not to. I vow to see you through the eyes of Him who formed you and loves you more deeply than I ever could. I will not let a day pass where you're unsure that I love you with my whole life. Today is the day we become one. My heart is fully yours forevermore. 
I'm so excited and expectant for the adventure ahead. I pray our union in Christ reflects His image and expands His kingdom more than we could accomplish apart. I pray He is glorified in every season, every moment of our marriage. May His name be known and lifted high. I give you all of me today. I love you with all my heart. I like you and I love you, and as long as I'm alive, what a beautiful bride you'll be. Jeffrey and Aaron, you've come before God and these witnesses today to commit your lives to one another in marriage. Therefore, by the power vested in me as a licensed minister, I do pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It's my privilege this afternoon to present you Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Jorgensen.